Alright folks, welcome back to another Discord League cast. We have Eric versus Handsome Dan in the top 16. Alright folks, welcome and back I got to uh, Bill League here f doing co-commentary. Hello, hello. And uh, so, this should be a really good game here. Eric has been on a tear recently since uh, since Paris, really. Like, uh, leading up to Paris, he was winning in the league, and then uh, co coming out of Paris, he hasn't really stopped. Um... Definitely the farthest he's gone in the tournament this se or so far, and you know he's really trying to trying to cement himself as one of the top cranes. And Handsome Dan is a is a, actually just a straight up newcomer, and has really battled his way through. You know he beat a lion, he he won the coin flip in the line mirror. He beat a crane prior, and he's gonna play another crane here. So, you know, the cr being the crane side of the bracket, if he can keep beat beating cranes, he definitely has a really good shot at making it far. For sure. Let's play a pretty standard list. Uh, nothing too crazy about it. Looking to go a little bit taller with Legion of One. He does have three crones and three sneaks, so I think that's the the uh, the the difference, right? Like that's the one one part of the deck that's slightly uh, off off the meta. Yeah, everyone's trying to figure out how to to solve the the issues in the meta, and that seems to be his approach to dealing with the very powerful events and whatnot that we're seeing out of. Scorpion especially. Eric's playing a pretty standard list. Um, the only difference is in his list is he's cut some of his events down to one of, so he's got one Noble Sack, one Sentry, and one Assassination to fit in two Young Harriers. Other than that, it's pretty much standard Crane Dragon. Uh, he's chosen to go with three Lekos instead of three Furies. Gonna kind of hurt him in this matchup where there's only three fans to target. Yeah. But we're gonna let the players go. Go ahead. gonna ask them if they want to use Chesscox. Do... This is one of the matchups that I'm just always super close. Never feels like anybody has been able to run away with this matchup on one side or the other, from core all the way to present. It's always been a 50-50. It's also one of the few matchups where people can actually disagree about the advantage of second player. Oh, right, like because Challenger and uh, Brawler? Are so impactful, yeah. Uh, just about every other matchup in the game, I think, anytime you can go second, it's just strictly better to go second. But this is one of the rare instances where if you uh, believe in the heart of the cards, you might just want to go first and get a, an advantage steamrolling. Uh, part one of the uh, plan is in place for Crane. Uh, get Palace, followed by uh, get Yoshi. We'll see if they can do that. Yeah. Uh, Kazen is actually pretty good against Lion. Against Lion. Uh, if you can Voltron him up with a lot of fate, he's really annoying to deal with. Yeah, especially once we're a little bit more into the game and breaks become super important. He can really help extend the game for you. Yeah, you just get a couple swords on him. And if you get him honored, he's just a house. Interesting that we see General being bought here. Do you think this is maybe to have a just an honored character in play for um for for Voice of Honor, or do you think that that buying General is a good idea sometimes? Against this type of crane list, I think it's fine because he's not playing Scorpion Splash. If we were dealing with the Fate worse than Death, I wouldn't like that. But we're seeing he's on Dragon Splash. So really all you need to do is dig for ready for battles. Reasonable. And this gives you a chance to break palace. Not have to rely on drawing charge. That's fair. Or have your charge resolve, right? Right, because it's way of the uh, crane followed by voice of honor just shuts down every conflict card you need to land. It's going to really depend on what's underneath the palace here for uh, for Eric. Like if it's shameful display, for instance, 
he could then turn Voice of Honor on, and then he could Fury into and cancel the Ready for Battle. Like that would be the ideal situation for Eric. Yes, and he's not running Rally, correct? Mm, no, I think it's I think it's entrenched in a stronghold. It is entrenched. Yeah, often it can be beneficial to take Rally, throw it in the row, put something like Meditations under Stronghold, and just hope for that 25% chance to ruin Lion's early attack. Yeah, I do that in, uh, in Dragon. I put Manicure Garden under my Stronghold. We were putting Shameful Display under Stronghold for a while, just because we were having issues with Fate, but, like, after we've gotten better at the game, it's just it's just strictly better to put uh, Manicure under the Stronghold, because Shameful's also so, so swingy. Yeah, definitely. So, runs into Manicured here, not going to give Dan a fate. What is he Think contesting? Or would have liked to have found Feast or Famine there. Yeah, you, right, like you're scouting. He did find a province to attack now, right? Like, his scout is perfectly fine. Like, um, so if he doesn't break here, he at least knows where he wants to attack for poke attacks. We do you think see about that... contesting Earth instead of Water here? Um... If you're going to contest water, you should do political. So that way the berserker can't can't um can't get in here. So we see Legion of One come out here. He can pull the scout back. Dan has one copy of his assassination. Obviously, by this line of play, it doesn't seem like he's drawn it. So on the one hand, he stops himself from getting Earth Ringed. On the other, cost him a card and a lot of force in his attempt to break Palace. Yeah, yeah. Zerka represented five force on the offense with the general in the stronghold. It's a lot to pass up. Now he can go again with the scout and, and flip another province, which is probably what he's going to try and do. Uh, I'm wondering how he's going to defend against his general. Maybe he just has multiple Furies. With eight cards in hand, not unlikely that he has either a political conflict character, a fan, or a way of the crane to actually turn on some force for the scout and threaten to win a different ring. Are you gonna Are you gonna go military at the palace here with the general? If I had the berserk, I definitely would have done that with both. But I still think it's your best attack. Is it crazy not to attack? It is shameful underneath the sh underneath palace. Wow, that's that's brutal. So now now we see the honor the honors uh, stats swap. So now now lion is in a little bit of trouble on this attack here. Uh, even with the stronghold, they're not threatening the win. Interesting that he can test fire and not void. Yeah, I think I would have preferred to live in the universe where I don't block on Manicured, let it break, and then attack back either Fire or Void with both characters. Reasonable. Anytime you defend his line and it's not to stop yourself from losing the game imminently, it just feels wrong. We see a Crone show up here. So Crone's actually really sick with Honor General. Yep, with Box alone, he'll threaten to at least win this conflict. Can even back up the Howard, the honored character count.
All right, I'm back. I'm back. Welcome back. So what uh what happened on that attack? Looks so like the after, scout just got swole. Yeah, scout got another katana. Uh, Dengi, uh, Dengeki Q, uh, Dan didn't miss the garden trigger. He was it was being attacked by cautious scout, so its text was blank. No, he tacked into it for the second conflict with steward of law political. Oh, and he forgot to trigger it because right. it was the second conflict on the same spot. I guess he 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 must have thought that he activated just wrote it off. Time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I I apologize, Q. I was not a, not around for that. So yeah, there, there's the answer. Yeah, so it looks like Dan did forget that fate. So yeah, it's pretty brutal. Um, and Yoshi showed up on time, I see. And yep, Yoshi showed up. All of the things that you don't want to happen in this matchup is is happening to Dan. You you flip uh, you flip Ujiaki also. Obviously, not what you want to see. Also, uh, when when your opponent has the palace. Yeah, this is where we really see the cost of that defense on his part. Simply just having that Berserker alongside the General on that attack, uh, Eric would have had to spend <laughs> substantially more cards and fate to stop that break. Neff shows up and says, I wish my Yoshi showed up on time. Feels bad, man. I agree, man. Y Yoshi Yoshi's one of those characters. I don't know what it is, but Dragon players always flip, flip Sumiko when they get the favor. She 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 knows what's up. She She shows up at the right time. All right, so if you're Eric here, or sorry, Eric was first player. So Dan, if you're Dan, what what ring are you attacking here? Maybe water to try and threaten the bow and the scout. Yeah, I think water's by far your most impactful choice here. I think any time water impacts the board in any sort of meaningful way as first player, you're almost always best off going to water. Yeah, that's reasonable. You can't do political with the general. Interesting that, that uh, Eric took political favor. What do you think about this? I think he's just planning on pitching it the first opportunity, so it really didn't matter which one he took. That's fair. I think he just defends Yoshi, flips favor, and uses whatever he draws to win the conflict, regardless of what type it is. Possibly throw the steward in there for the steward for shame combo. General coming in, uh, yeah. General scouting is good here, right? Because me meditations isn't even—he's not even weak to meditations. Yes. Ultimately, and... he might need to go void here to protect Satoshi. Because if Satoshi gets taken off the board this turn, then he's going to go into next turn with next to nothing against a faded Yoshi that will probably retain favor. So we just see Eric defended first opportunity, try first action, use Yoshi. Although I did see. Going for policy debate instead. Okay, that's also strong. So we saw a voice of honor come out last turn. Was that the counter of the bonsai? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he used his last fate because of the crone in the conflict to bonsai to attempt to push through the win, and it got voiced. Yeah, that's shameful. That that's what we were talking about, right? Like that is that that was huge. All right, so we see. You probably take ready for battle. Take a, I think actually you take assassination here if you don't want if you don't want to have to use a cancel. It's like assassination or ready for battle. I would assume those are those would be the good options. What are your thoughts here? It's hard not to take away charge. Anytime yep. you uh, eh. see it, I mean, like, what are we charging here on this turn? Like charges, like when you know your opponent has charge, right? You you can at least you can at least set up for it later. Uh, I think you want to take a card that's more impactful on the on the the current turn. Charge Death Seeker is not irrelevant here. That's Depends fair. If he has a cancel. Yeah, charge Death Seeker can kill the scout also. Hmm. 
He does pitch the assassination. I mean, either assassination or charge can potentially kill the scout here. And that is the only copy of assassination for Handsome Dan, so if Eric wants to keep this Brash Samurai for next turn, he can go ahead and, like, two Fate Brash Samurai. It'd be really cool if we could save game states, go back and look at how turn one would have played out with different decisions. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, that that would be pretty sick. Like a world where he breaks palace, wins fire, gets keeper, takes favor, and flips Uji instead of the other way around where Crane has favor and flips Yoshi. This is one of the uh, one of the situations where testing in paper is is nicer. Where if you can just go back and set up the the game state and just take the different line. Now we see the Yoshi activation, and Crane is going to have all of the cards for the rest of the game. Eric's happy to trade cards one for one here since he's only going to get more and more card advantage over the next couple of turns unless yeah. Dan can pull something off. So we see Wave of the Crane come out here. Still still losing actually. Yeah, it's Dan. You gotta just keep passing through. If he wins this water ring, it's actually really big for him. Yeah, if he can stop that scout from smashing a province. It'll be an uphill battle, but he can start coming back. Probably not next turn. He might, turn he might after. consider being able to break here. Does it? He did we? He had for greater glory in his hand. Charge, charge Uji. You could charge Uji stronghold, and then that threatens a break. We see a bonsai come out first. I guess he's trying to save the charge for a turn where we can have a more impactful offense. Man, I wonder if Eric, uh, Eric's committing a lot to this. If he has to double for shame here, that is a lot of cards. And a charge could still blow up the cautious scout. So he's strong. And he's still first. threatening break. Very efficient use of resources for Dan. See another Despite card. Despite Yoshi in the storehouse, he's only one card behind. There's the second for shame. I think now you gotta jam that charge on Death Seeker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that to kill the yeah, scout. Big. Yeah, charge Death Seeker here and then it, when he loses just kill the scout. He drew Sentry, he can't do it anymore. He only has two more voices in his deck. He's drawn half of it, so I mean you still got you just gotta go for it. Yeah. 
a reasonable chance he doesn't have another voice. If he did, he might have easily countered one of those ready for battles or bonsais or anything. Plus, taking the assassinate kind of says no voice to me, so I really hope he jams the charge. Sandbag the voice. It's not really sandbagging, right? Like, you you, you know you're going to first shame this guy? Like, if I have the first shames, there's no reason that I that I uh, don't first shame the the general. So that way I can ca I can deal with something something better down the road. Because voice is going to yeah. be on for, for, for a reasonable amount of time with the honored Yoshi. Force him to spend the fate. So now this military void from the cautious scout is going to be pretty backbreaking. Pretty brutal, yeah. Uh, soldier token, it en enables the charge death seeker. However, uh, Eric had the counter. Interesting that he's that he's attacking with two characters. He should not be sending the steward of law in with with his scout. Yeah, unless he's going to garden, which seems incorrect. Okay, I was like, I don't know why you would take out an opportunity to scout here. Like that is what a cautious scout does. You want to basically uncover what you can. Okay, and he runs on a shameful, really strong. He's adjusting earth though. This I don't like at all. Maybe he just doesn't care about Satoshi. I think I, I would definitely have done Void. Void here just negates f uh, 5 faith that your opponent has spent. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, let this one go because you have to, and hit back political void yourself on one of the two air provinces, because you certainly don't want to run into meditations or shameful. Ooh, a fury. Very nice. That's actually really strong, right? So the charge, the charge, uh, well, we knew you had the fury, right? So charge... You, you, you had to pick your poison, you had to counter the charge, or you had to counter the fury. This way, at least he has to play them both. I really, I really question this attack. So, oh, here's the second steward. So you should... Hmm... So here, here, here's what I'm confused about. So I wonder why Eric chose to just defend so heavily with Yoshi. Why not just defend with Steward of Law? Oh, you wanted to get the policy debate. That was why. Ah. So he's going to drop in Crone. Hit Shameful Display. I just saw his last two fate disappear, so I would assume that's what's happening. Oh, he's playing the Sneak. But it's a really naked sneak. Eric didn't have any fate left. Oh yeah, soldiers. That's fair. He, he no. I think the lock with the Yoshi is fine. Also, he wanted to get the policy debate off. Um, but if I had like if I had them, maybe maybe I would just block with Steward, get assassinated, play a second or play Steward for shame. Get assassinated, play a second steward, and then for shame again. I'm not sure. So we see Bonsai coming out here on on the Stewie. So threat, threatening a break here. I don't think Handsome Dan has anything he can do here. So a uh, small misplay from Handsome Dan. He uses he targets Steward of Law with a dishonor effect. He should have targeted Cautious Scout. Yeah. It is. Uh, 
you are allowed to go from honored status to neutral, but not allowed to go from neutral to dishonored with steward of law in the conflict. I would have much rather seen the crone there. Would have stopped the bonsai with Eric at zero fate. We would have spent the same amount of resources. Actually, you just spent less, right? You just, you, just, you just spent one less, and the, and the sneak, the sneak with without sealing a fate is a lot, is is just is just actually a horrific card. Like two for a one dash is really really bad. It's only passable because it steals a fate from your opponent. Well, knowing his hand, I think you just drop the crone with the fate, hit shameful on crone scout. You'll still lose the conflict, but. You also maintain. You also maintain an honored character for uh, for the next the next turn. Yeah. We should see uh, a void attack here from Dan. These uh, these defenses by Dan. They are uh, hurting them a lot. Look, some, something something Lion's not good at uh, defending, right? They're definitely not. <laughs> uh, but there are little things you can do, you know that you have to be very cautious about how you commit to defense as Lion and when to in order to get advantage or make your opponent spend resources. Because if you're not doing that and you're just eating breaks anyways, then you wreck your own offense and you just lose even harder. So Dan does lose a fan at random, really, really unfortunate. So he's going to attack into one of the air provinces here. Uh, you want to see, I think you want to see fertile fields at this point, just because of the fate. I don't know, they're both, kind, they're both kind of annoying to hit. Like, Woodwin, what do you think was a weird play? Uh, soldier token. If if he goes to shameful and Eric, he, oh Eric didn't have any fate. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, I agree. Would when the sneak was definitely weird. Uh, actually, um, Dan should have gone as shameful display. I just realized, right? Because if Stewart blocks, it just it just gets honored, and he didn't have any fate to play another conflict character. This also denies giving a fate to your opponent for the turn. Also, er, er, also, Dan is contesting fire and not contesting void. I feel like I feel like the players are not uh, not playing the board heavily enough. Wow, there's wow, the third for shame. For shame. Mm. So so brutal. <laughs> Eric the hits him with the shame. Going to have a lot of cards, but a lot of their most important cards are gone. They've spent two voice, one wave of the crane, and three for shames. Uh, by turn two. Yeah, the only the, the only issue is that Yoshi here is just going to keep re refilling their hand. He is. I think had he stopped that shameful break, it would not have been that bad of a position to be in as lion. It's still quite bad now. Uh, could very easily lose the game the next couple turns with this honored Yoshi beating him down, but uh, Mike, Mike, I, I would agree that it's definitely been in a series of unfortunate events. I would, I would also argue though that Dan has has made some some uh, some misplays here that have definitely cost him percentage points. If you just play very tight, tight, even when you're behind, it's actually quite easy to come back in this game. Uh, all it takes is one 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 mistake from your opponent, and then you can have a huge turn. We do see uh, we do see Dan flip his own palace now, and we do see it. we we do see double uh, double spirit caller. We see a Yoshi dupe. We see a Salvi. We see a Brash, and a Whisper. Pretty strong flop here for Eric. Eric can just buy all the small characters. We can fade them all with no fear, since the one assassination is gone. He's first player also, so he can challenge Void. So you could just one fate them all. You, I think you might be. So if you two fate the Rash, that's four, seven, nine. Okay, if he wants, if he wants to save to two fate, he, he can. Uh, 
Okay, so he buys Brash. Maybe he doesn't buy buy Politician here. It's not really great on this board. There's not really... I mean, other than the Whisper, there's not really a good target. Yeah. I would hold off on the Politician. So maybe you Whisper one fate and then and then you pass? Hey, what's up, Machina? Um, it has been... It's been Crane favored so far. Uh, Crane flipped Palace on Shameful Display on turn one. And then they flipped Cookie to Yoshi the next turn. And so they definitely have a big advantage right now. What do you think about Eric Mulliganing his palace? I think it's wrong. Palace on Shameful is incredible. Yeah, and I think I would have kept it. At least two more turns of Yoshi. So now if Dan can win himself a fire conflict uh, and maintain his palace, he's almost a lock to steal that favor. And we know he has an Ujiaki in the yard with Spirit Collar. It's, uh,. Potentially ugly. There is a uh, two fate on that air ring. What do you think of bidding five here as Crane still? I just don't think he has any illusions of dishonoring his opponent. You have a lot of conflict characters also, so that six fate could be very useful uh, with like a rival. True, Dan only on the one assassinate. It's going to be really hard to get him down. Yeah, like I just don't see that's how Eric's going to win the game. I mean, you could realistically just draw your all your attachments and then like realistically cycle your deck and then be at no 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 threat of losing. I once had a crane player cycle their deck against me twice in a single game. I believe it. They were playing 3x Perfect Gift, 3x Test of Skill, and just had Yoshi favor the entire game. You still won that game, right? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> the, only, the only reason I said it like that is because there's no there's no reason that you that you lead that story without... Oh yeah, I still won anyway. <laughs> I think that was the saltiest I've ever seen another human on Jigoku. He was not pleased, I, I take it. Not at all. So we're gonna see Brash Samurai here. Scout runs into Feast or Famine. Really, if you, if I have, well, the problem is you can't you can't Legion of One. You have to have a Bonsai here. And Dan's already played two Bonsais. If he could somehow buff this Brash Samurai and not have it canceled, that would be so good. It would be taking the two fave from taking the two fave from Yoshi and putting it on Satoshi. Eric's is very tempting. I I, I don't think he's trolling. Yeah, <laughs> I don't uh, I don't agree with him. And you say hallelujah. You could uh you could Actually, I probably would have honored my Brash Samurai and the re and so here's my reasoning. The only card that that Dan is playing that can help him break Shameful or Feast or Famine is Bonsai uh, and Dan's not playing Katanas. So honoring your Brash Samurai. military favor. So if you honored him, he Oh, he break. has military favor. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take it back. I take it back. I take it back. He did political favor the first turn, so I was just, I was just wondering. I guess, I guess to your point, it was he was going to d ditch it first, first chance he could. And so is Dan here. I think you just have to take the money on air ring. Go into meditations probably. The difference of being seven to four as opposed to nine to two is just too big. Oh, now it's zero to six. See, Goblin Sneak is re is really not very good against your opponent who, who just has fate, right? Like it's just not, not nearly as impactful. Hey, he'll have to buy that political rival with three fate now instead of four. And he'll probably buy it with two fate if anything. Yeah. There's a brawler in Dan's graveyard right now, and a Totori. So this spear caller does threaten does threaten to to bring out some some big guns here. Yeah, I think the goal for this turn is to steal the favor, which palace flipping on feast or famine should almost certainly help you do. He bought spear caller with one fate, right? Like 
What What do you think about that? I think that was maybe. No, it's with two. It got void ring. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So Eric ch challenged void first. First conflict. Okay. The players have been so averse to ch to challenging void that I was just making sure. Political air probably. And then you try and get a double to ring. We can't on political. Uh, no, no, I, I mean on your next attack, you just don't defend. Uh, yes. You just don't defend the cream political attack because you can't. Yeah, you let him take his choice of. It's art. It's manicured or art of war. Art of war. Yeah. yeah. It'll almost certainly be manicured. He does not want to see a second spirit caller on this board. This is where you need a mind slaver effect where you can control your opponent's next turn and you just have him go political into feast or famine. Hmm. People uh people complain about negative play experiences. They clearly have never had someone take control of their turn. That is definitely one of the least fun things you can do in a card or have have done to you in a card game. Yeah, I kind of don't love the fact that he's playing Legions of Ones over fans. Dropping a fan on that Samurai, for example, could have just been completely game warping. Or Katana, rather. Oh, Katana, okay, I was about to say. Yeah, uh, I agree. Uh, I think of them as the same type of card, Fantanas. What, um, what's your order on military bus for Lion? Uh, Banzai, greater than Way of the Lion... Uh, greater than Katana for like the first two and then I like having a legion sure so you're so you're on Bonsai Bonsai way of the lion and then you're on Katana up to two and then you can go to to, to legion of one if you want that's what I think is correct reasonable I mean I I just pl playing dragon has just given me a very strong appreciation for the zero cost attachments Yeah, soldier token Tal talisman is the closest thing you'll get for uh, for a mind slaver effect in this game. It's it's still not still not quite the same. Blackmail. Mm hmm. <clears throat> you can't afford you can't force your opponent to do to do like cost negative things, right? Like if you could if you could realistically take control of your opponent's turn, like Dan could have made Eric buy whisp whisper or like savvy politician with like eight fate or something. <laughs> No, you had nine. So savvy politician, seven fate pass. So Eric does win win the defense with the rival, like we suspected. We're gonna see him probably go in here and smash this garden with Yoshi. Probably want to do the ring that you don't want to get doubled up on. So, er, so he goes to Earth. He just wants to pound home this hand advantage. He can um he can defend with the steward of law on the on the Taturi attack if it's gonna be Taturi, so that he can't be dishonored. Although it doesn't stop his Yoshi from going to to neutral. He will however get an honored keeper initiate out of the deal. That's true. If if he stacks the triggers correctly. Maybe that's an argument for going for fire. After this Yoshi trigger and hitting Earth Ring, his hand will be fourteen to seven. That's uh, quite large. Big. But we're still not at the point where he can punish Dan for smashing that five bid button. So the difference between say a nineteen grip versus twelve isn't is a lot less than say like a seven to a one. Oh yeah. Or like a you know like a eight to a two like like the the diminishing returns on card advantage are definitely there. I 
I like the pass by Dan before he used the uh, Yoshi trigger, essentially offering him. I won't use manicured if you don't use Yoshi. <laughs> A little cheeky, right? Just give your opponent the opportunity to mess up. And we see the third goblin sneak hit the bin. Alright, so military fire, and then hopefully a really strong first conflict next turn from Dan to try to get himself a grip back into this game. I think he'll need something like a double void ring next turn, pray to survive, and then get back into the game from there. Alternately with double fire, if he knocks the honor off of Yoshi on his conflict next turn, Spirit Collar can pull in LPB and shut down the Yoshi. Well, I mean, the Yoshi's, the Yoshi's not going to matter, right? Because it's just going to be... I guess it'll matter as, uh, as a political body, just because... Um, what do you think about going into manicure or meditations here instead of, say, manicure garden? Yeah, meditations just seems flat wrong. Like... Even even attacking, I guess, I guess attacking the fertile fields is a, is a fate and a card, uh, whereas manicure is just a fate. But I mean, uh, t turning off mirror, potential mirror motives furies also. Fortunately, Tatori's out of range. Yeah, Tatori's out of range right now. You no, know, there's no more for shame. So. I think if you're Eric, you just let this break. Like you don't, I don't want to invest any cards here. Even if he bonds eyes, he just hit stronghold, and we're still breaking. Dan plays standard ground. Uh, I no, don't he does not. So. That is Grody. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say if we could see some sick standard ground for greater glory action to keep the to, to play for next turn, that could be fun. That would be really, really, really sick. So he should stack them correctly so he honors his keeper initiate. Yep, and he does. We can see we can see Eric Eric uh, put the screws down to Dan here if he one bids here Dan will go down to four honor. I don't know if that's the line that he wants to take, but it is a reasonable line of play. Yeah, I think at this point with double the the hand size, it's a legitimate. You only have one province broken of your own. And if you flip something like an Asami, you can put on some real honor pressure. Your board being wide enough as it is, I ditch the Whisperer, and he does. Interesting that he, I guess he's going to save the Politician for a Wave of the Crane to re Wow, this is a sick flop for Eric. And Dan's flop is not, not the same. Now, I wonder if he buys, buys Challenge or Whisper, or if he buys Hotaru. Yeah, buys, buys Challenger. I would have rather seen Hotaru, honestly, with a bunch of fate. 
Well, on you could have Hotaru and second. then play, play Politician, Politician Zero, and then done Way of the Crane. Buff up, buff up Hotaru. He's gonna go for Challenger and Savvy. This does leave him a fate, because he's he's probably not gonna get the passing fate. Still with the fives. Eric's just gonna go for the deck the deck recycle, I think. It's it's really strong, right? Like you just get to get all your attachments back and everything, all your first shames. Yeah. If if you're under no pressure, you might as well do it. Eric has nineteen cards in his hand. This is this is my kind of game. I sure I do I do love it. See in Magic I'm restricted to seven cards in my hand. But nineteen. I would just love holding that stack in my hand in paper, it'd be amazing. When your opponent attacks, you just fan out all 19. You're like, what shall I do to you? It feels bad, man. This puny 13 card grip. <laughs> uh, we do have Dan with favor, and he does have Ujiaki in his, in his graveyard. Yeah, I think you attack with the basically bare minimum to initiate the conflict. Save everything else for defense. Send maybe, the, send maybe the gun You have to stop whatever military break he attempts. Yeah, I'd send the gun so. You you have a for greater glory, right? So if, if he if he goes military and he gunsos and he flips with Ujiaki, he flips Brawler and Toturi. I think then, I go military water. I I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of the That way I can stand the spirit collar to use it on defense. I'm trying to think of the the lines for for um, Dan here. So if he if he doesn't attack, what if he goes void here, right? And he flips Brawler Torturi, and he gets to double void, and then he for greater glories. That could be good as well. The main question is, how does he stay alive? I think he can stop a. He might be able to stop a political attack on a stronghold. I don't know if he can stop the military attack. Unfortunately, the time's come. I have to go. Okay. Pick my lady up from work in the snowstorm. It's gonna be a blast. So have fun. I'm I'm glad I no longer live on the East Coast. I'm stuck here. All right. Take care, man. You too.
Oh, ha, OBS, OBS got, uh, OBS got swapped, and I muted my mic and not my desktop audio. <laughs> Alright, well, I was talking this whole time, and I had muted my mic instead of my desktop audio. So, we see the policy debate coming here. He does discard the for greater glory. But we do see a second for greater glory here for for Handsome Dan. Uh, interesting that Dan sends the tactician also. I guess he just wants to draw a card. Uh, Mittens, I was watching the Aurelia rework uh, that just got posted. Uh, Aurelia is definitely one of the champions I've played the most in League of Legends, and I'm super, super excited for her rework. Come on, come on, Mega, look. We all, ha we all have our vices, right? Like... I just mostly play with my friends now, uh, Mega. Yeah, it the game the game is is real is really fun like in, in a in a very casual sense now. Um, I I don't I don't ever get mad any, anymore. Actually, to be fair, I, I didn't really get mad at it prior, but I definitely definitely enjoy playing with my friends. <laughs> like I just get to die I just get to diamond five every season now, and then I just play play normals or flex queue with my friends. All right, so we see a second debate here come out from Eric. Eric's gonna grab the other for greater glory. Yep, there. And now the threat, the threat is gone. <laughs> Look, Neff, it's not too late. We could do, we could do crane. We could we could do crane uh, crane law man we can play some arams uh, uh, Micah Micah plays air, plays league so Micah and I play arams every now and then I'm not a huge fan of arams but I'll definitely play them yeah, yeah Saken knows what's up uh, Mega um, Dan has only two for greater glory. I mean, it's ARAMs, dude. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Uh, I, you, you don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> Woodwin, I, I accept. Yeah, I, I accept. Uh, when I was playing, when I was playing very seriously, uh, I got to masters for two seasons. Uh, I, I'm a ma I, I was a masters top laner. Now, now I'm washed up. I'm just a, just a just a just a never was. So we see Wave the Crane here honoring Savvy Politician, which then honors Challenger. Yes, I was yes, I, I was I was a master's top laner. I uh, I did not play Darius. Uh I've I've always played tanks in pretty much every RPG or like MMO I've played. And so I I pretty much always just spam whatever the meta tank is. Current currently it's Scion, but you know I played I played Maokai, um, I, I pretty much played whatever the tank was, and then uh, I and then if I ever wasn't playing a tank, my other champions are I play I played a lot of Aurelia, and I played a lot of uh, top uh, Jarvan. <laughs> So here's here's the Ujiaki flip. We see Berserker and Brawler. So using your using the stronghold before flipping is really bad here, because now this Brawler is missing one strength that she would have normally had.
We've seen activation of Satoshi. Flips the storehouse. Woodwin, you, you have an NA account? Yeah, yeah, I would win. I've been trying trying to get good at mainstream games, League of Legends and Magic. Uh, have not made that much money. I made I've made a, I made a, a a a decent like a a small a small amount of money from Magic. Uh, but you know it's it's definitely decent. Woodwind's like, oh wait, crap! I don't, I don't play in NA. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I was like, wait, we're on NA here. Uh, Mega, I don't think the patch is out yet. The the notes just came out too, so I don't think the patch is actually here. I think it's, I think it's we're gonna patch tonight like usual. So brawler, brawler bra about brash samurai. Yeah. So we see Challenger coming in here, gonna break Art of War. Yeah! Okay, I'm coming! Yep, so, so, sorry guys, <laughs> I muted my mic on the mic portion, but it doesn't mute in OBS. Uh, sorry folks, <laughs> my mom came over for dinner and I'm holding her up. Like, like my mic has a has a mute function on its on the mic itself, but I actually just have to mute in OBS. <laughs> Dan just figuring out how he wants to defend. Contesting water here, trying to stand Yoshi for the political attack. Don't think he'll be. He might be able to break on political. I doubt it though, as the is the the province's ancestral lands. So we see a, a, a charge come out here for the berserker. So Eric should pull the. Yep. Eric, Eric pulls prodigy in. He can then go in with his rival and break break Art of War.
we see a let go come out from Dan. We see a bonsai come out from Eric. So Eric's still threatening the break here. Dan would need his last bonsai to stop this break. Yeah, he's only got two here. Can't play Legion. Oh, he can play Wave of the Lion. Yeah, he has three Wave of the Lions he's not played yet. That's true soldier token, yeah, yeah, honoring Yoshi, honoring Yoshi does, does offer the break. So Eric plays Assassination on Berserker here after Dan played a Way of the Lion. So now he just is really in trouble as he doesn't have any, none of these characters can be Way of the Lion efficiently. Um, Dan has all, Dan has two Furies left, uh, Q. And I think we know that he has at least one in his hand. And he just drew three cards. So the rival can get Furied. Because there's two honored characters to two right now. Although if Eric honors Yoshi, he, Eric could have the third voice of honor. Yeah, Eric has the third voice of honor potentially. Let's see the hand here. Yeah, Dan has double fury left. So the rival the rival's gonna get furied. Although Eric could just have a second fury a second rival. This might be the game here. We'll see. If Eric waved the cranes onto Yoshi. Probably gonna go fire here if I had to guess. Could go earth. Yeah, he's just going earth. Gotta even out the hand advantage. She's down to 12 cards versus 13. There's the Fury and the Rival. Maybe Eric just doesn't want to commit here. He's going to get first player next turn. There's a Court Games to honor Yoshi. Is he just going to play a second Rival here and then voice the last... Voice the last Fury?
There's a young Harrier. That's only 10. Is he going to just play all his one drops? No, Mad Magician. I was saying he would uh, he would voice the, an, another Fury on another rival. Oh, there's a fan, obviously. Duh, there's still attachments. But I think Dan has let goes. There's a let go. There's another fan. I mean, Eric's drawn 33 cards of this game. There's another let go. I think that's all the let goes for Dan. That is all the let goes. So if Eric has another fan here, the third fan, that'll do it. If Eric has a rival, no, a rival doesn't do it because of Fury. Yep, that's good. That, okay, so Dan lives to fight another day. Discards, fan at random. The boards are going to clear out here now. I just don't know if Dan can defend another political attack, though. Especially when you get a guy coverted. He might have to pitch to the palace. I don't know how Dan could can defend this, as we see Asami, Eric buys Asami another challenger, and Eric could just probably draw the rest of his deck safely, like if Eric goes, Eric draws five. Yeah, soldier token. Um, I do believe that Dan has access to more to more ready for battles. Yeah, Dan has only played one ready for battle, so the bow's not really on the table. But I would agree that it's not looking good for him. I think both. I think Eric's gonna draw five cards here. He's assuming to steal also. Okay, so Eric bids three, not wanting to, not wanting to, uh, potentially lose to Dishonor. And we're gonna see the the general coverted here. Wait, you can wave the crane. Uh, I think there's still one wave of the crane left, also. 
Eric can also attack a ring and play another rival into the conflict. Yeah, there's a way of the crane and two core games left, so Eric could very easily just have two honors. Interesting. I don't know about this attack. Eric is not just attacking with everything. Can Eric just not break this? I can't imagine Eric can't break this. How many fans does Dan have left? One, two, two. He's got one fan left. Eric has let goes too. Yeah, but but Micah, Eric's drawn like his whole deck, right? So you can only fury, you can only fury the rival, which is minus three. You, Eric should have a core games of his own to add two, and then Eric can poten should potentially have the last wave of the crane. So we see first action Gunso to honor. Thanks for the cheer, Astarun. Oh, it's a new week, so uh, the the cheer the cheer count has reset. So Asami steals an honor. Uh, Micah, this is this is one of the situations. So we're just testing the chess cocks here. But reasonably speaking, Dan here has taken 17 more minutes uh, of game time than Eric. So I mean, I think it's, I think the concept of everyone playing at a reasonable pace is one of those things that needs to be explored. Where if you go to time in a in a match, and your opponent has taken you know t twice as much time as you have, you know I feel like you shouldn't be punished as well. So Eric plays the court games to dishonor the gun, so interesting. I mean, n nuance in playing quicker is not is not one of those one of those things. I think the crane deck takes it takes more nuance than the lion deck to be fair. So we see the last fan come out for Dan. We should see a let go from Eric. Yep, there it is. So Eric needs to make up two points of skill here. Like, I think regardless of what deck you pick, the deck that you pick isn't, a, isn't an argument for taking more time. Like, when you pick a deck, you should know you should know your deck, right? Like, when, when, you, when you take a deck, your... Um, 
Wait, does Dan didn't have a ready for battle? That's insane. Sure, 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 soldier token, but again, board state, the deck that you pick, all those things, all those things don't take into, don't, aren't considered when you, when you consider a reasonable amount of time. The game is supposed to be played at the same pace regardless of the board state. Obviously, some board states will require a little bit more thinking, but you don't get extra time every single time the board state becomes complicated. The game will just take forever then, right? Like, it's a skill to be able to read the board and play, play the board when it's complicated, and, you know, you should be rewarded for being able to parse that in the same amount of time as when the board is simple. Like, the problem is if the board state becomes if the board state becomes complicated, everyone just takes forever to think, and so reasonable pace of play can never be established. Interesting. Challenger now moves the general in. I guess Eric's just not just doesn't think he can win on this attack. I'm so confused on this attack. Like, I feel like Eric could just have broken if he had sent all of his characters. <laughs> I'm so confused. Probably gonna see a ready for battle here on the Githa Tactician bow. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Asami was used. Reality Fall. Uh, let's check here, Soldier Token. One, two. Yeah, Eric's played all his Bonsais. And all three of his Katanas are gone. Uh, the prodigy, the prodigy can use the stronghold to threaten, so it forces a block. The players here just uh, just wanting me to take more time, I guess. <laughs> I, f I still am 
fairly confident that Eric could have ended the game on a on a all out attack. You can just leave Bar Bash Sam right behind too if you want. I don't believe that's going to happen, Mega. The challenger, the auto, both the challengers still are going to have fate on them. Uh, Eric has multiple rivals in his hand still. Because he's going to have drawn his deck. Yeah, Spirit Caller, well, Mega, he's only got one Spirit Caller left, if that. He did mill a bunch of guys with Satoshi. So, yeah, he's only got one Spirit Caller left. He does have a pretty high chance of seeing it, to be fair. But he does only have one left. He's also going to lose favor this turn. So, it's going to be a little bit tough. But if he can get all the keepers, that's definitely a start. So the board's going to void out here. We saw the crone void the honored challenger. Eric actually knew that uh, Dan had that too. So we see guest of honor show up. That might be the nail in the coffin. No spirit color for Dan. Oh, but he gun sells into the spirit caller. <laughs> All right, we're getting interested. Things are getting interesting now. The real question is, can he make an attack, get the break, and still defend? Eric's going to cycle his deck here. He has two way of the lions left, Mega. Realistically, Dan might just lose to being milled. Dan has three dynasty cards left. If he play if he if another card enters play from his dynasty row, he'll mill. If Eric bids one here, Eric could threaten dishonoring er Dan also.
Well, he just doesn't have any cards for you. Like that's the problem. If he if he doesn't if he doesn't draw more cards, like a lot of his cards right here don't do anything. He played a card, so he is going to. He's gonna go to zero cards in Dynasty. On his next turn, and then he won't be able to play a single card if he's at five honor. Oh yeah yeah yeah, Spirit Color Train. Yep, I completely forgot about that. Yes, yeah, Spirit Color. You can just Spirit Color all the Spirit Colors. So, Eric resets his deck. 15 cards in hand. 4 honor. Yeah, that's true. Four is definitely a good number to be at. I'm going to have to, I actually have to go, um, so I'm going to leave the stream running, there's just unfortunately not going to be any commentary for the end of the game, uh, and then I'll edit it later, uh, I do, I do apologize to everyone in chat, um, I just didn't, uh, I didn't account for something, so I do have to go. <laughs>